we are doing the very first uh, Wolf Cop makeup test on Leo today for the movie with the new appliances, etc. I love the, just the, the longing look of the sex. Over the past five years, I've kind of noticed as a werewolf fan and a fan of practical effects, there hasn't really been like a classic wolf man in movies lately. I think it is an insane concept, but I just think it's so insane, it's perfect, you know. I wanted a character who was just really badass. That's why I think the world needs Wolf Cop. One of the cool advantages we had with the design of Wolf Cop is because we shot a concept trailer and because we had the Cineku campaign to go through, we were actually able to create Wolf Cop multiple times before we even made the movie. The first time I saw Wolf Cop on the trailer, I was pretty amazed. What I mean, I've worked with Emerson and in the past, so I knew to expect, uh, you know, something awesome. So the trailer version of Wolf Cop was uh, very quickly designed. Thankfully it was for three minutes worth of film and it looked really good. We were able to get away with murder on that one. We also made him at Calgary Comic Expo when we went there to promote the film. Calgary Expo was a good experience. That's when we, I think I realized that uh, how marketable Wolf Cop was. Even knowing that that wasn't the perfect version of Wolf Cop, but that he was still getting these crazy reactions, I think gave us all a lot of confidence that uh, when we finally created the true, pure wolf cop for the movie, it was gonna be special. The whole process from creating wolf cop with design as well, um, to when uh, we saw him on camera was about two and a half to three months. I drew some really bad cartoony versions of wolf cop, and Emerson did some uh, more, more beautiful painterly versions, and, and we'd look at it and say, well, how should we change his ears? What should his eyes look like? How much humanity should there be and how much monster should there be? Sculpting Wolf Cop took us about four weeks because we had uh, two hands to sculpt, we had teeth to make, a cowl, the face, and then the muscle suit. First couple times we put it on, it was closer to five hours. Getting it down to two hours was amazing. By the time he's done cleaning me up and leaning me back, I just fall asleep. Which is good for him because he says it's like putting makeup on a mannequin, so. Wolf Cop 2.0 was even more badass and scarier. I think people should be excited to see Wolf Cop because we did update him. They're going to be treated to something that's unique but also falls within the canon of werewolves uh, and does it some tribute. I really do think his new look is something special and, and worth holding on to a little longer because, uh, you know, we just don't want to burn you out. We got a lot of production videos to get here, people. Just an epic voice, you know, a voice that commands respect. And he appreciates everyone's creativity, which is unusual. There were days where things got a bit testy. How am I going to have to change the script? Are we going to have money? Are we going to have time? Everything on the day is always so fast. The production was most definitely threatened. Mm -hmm.